Boys 2 Production present Burn Brother Tools for Life. Are you guys ready to roll? Yeah! yeah. Where are we going? Tools for Life. Tools, Tools for, for Life. life. Alright. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> My name's Kiana. I go to the Voice 2 house in Haley, Idaho. And what did you, what do you hope to learn at Tools for Life? Um, I hope to learn to um, get a job, be independent, and live on my own. Hi, I'm Nathan Lago, and we'll take about Tools for Life conference at Moscow, Idaho. Okay. What do you hope to learn at Tools for Life? Because it's Tools for Life, because we're going to be um, independent. You want to be more independent? Okay. What else? Because I love it for um, the classes. Oh, you want to take classes? Take classes for technology. Hi, I'm Aaron Marquis. Hi, Aaron. What do you hope to get out of the Tools for Life conference? Um, I would like to learn more skills on technology and being independent, spending time with my friends, and kind of going at my own pace. My name is Thomas. Thomas, what are you looking forward to most about the Tools for Life conference? You know about the Tools for Life is going on a trip at Moscow, Idaho without parents. Making my own choices. Dakota Ratcliffe. All right, Dakota, what are you looking forward to most about Tools for Life? Learning something new about the world and hopefully how to survive in it. Tools for Life is a two-day secondary transition and technology conference held annually in the state of Idaho. The conference is sponsored by various agencies, organizations, and companies who aim to support individuals with disabilities. The focus of the conference is to assist high school students with disabilities with their upcoming transition into the adult world. By attending the conference, students not only have the opportunity to learn about transition and assistive technology, they also gain hands-on experience with independent skills. Being away from home in a safe environment is a powerful learning experience. Each year, the conference hosts motivational speakers. Topics often include being your best, owning yourself, and the power of overcoming challenges. Given the proper presentation, these messages can be perspective changing for students. Michael Beers, a comedian with a disability, frequently presents at Tools for Life. In 2015, he challenged students to overcome their difficulties advocate for themselves, and find their passion. The takeaway was that even if you have a disability, you can be successful and powerful. So it's important that you speak up all the time, people. This is a message that should be conveyed to all individuals with disabilities. At the Voice 2 18 to 21 transition program, we are in the business of empowering our students. Attending the conference is one tool that we use for doing so. Speakers like Michael Beers empower us all to be better people, regardless of personal circumstance. Breakout sessions are held throughout the two-day conference. Students are given the opportunity to choose which sessions they would like to attend. The topics vary. In 2015, the most meaningful breakout sessions for our students provided hands-on learning and opportunities for reflection. What's your name? Colton. Colton. Which uh, breakout session did you go to, Colton? Um, Jake's Big Adventure. Jake's Big Adventure, and what was that all about, dude? Kind of telling you how to like get a job, and how to keep one, and like just maintain it. Maintaining yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what was your favorite part of Jake's Big Adventure? I can't really say, but like I think it was all of it, really. All of it? Yeah. What was? What do you think was helpful? Kind of. I guess like 
showing you like I think it was, the thing that was helpful to me was how to maintain a job and get one as well. Okay. But cool. Like the skills you need as well. An epic adventure. Hosted by the Idaho Department of Labor, this session provided students with a humorous scenario revolving around how to get a job and how not to get a job. The Voice 2 program will use this session as a springboard for deeper conversation about workplace skills. We will role play similar scenarios using the familiarity of our community and our vocational partners. Taking these skills out into the real world will be an important part to create an epic adventure of our own. Reality Town! This session was hosted by a plethora of statewide volunteers. It was a hands-down favorite for Voice 2 students. Reality Town is a life simulation for students, similar to the game of life. Find a job, buy or rent a home, pay bills, have a family, etc. All of these tasks are required for students to complete the simulation. At the end of the session, students have gained knowledge of what it takes to live independently and be an adult. Adult life is complicated, and this session has been helpful for our students to gain a broader understanding of that. Utilizing the lessons learned from this session has helped Voice 2 staff reinforce practical applications of these skills when working with students. Opening a bank account, gaining a driver's license, meal planning, and learning vocational skills are all key prerequisites for navigating the true reality of life and all things that we do every day in Voice 2. Healthy Relationships This session was hosted by university professionals. It provided students with opportunities to reflect upon safe and healthy friendships, romantic relationships, and sexual partnerships. Students were encouraged to ask honest questions in a safe environment and explore different tools necessary for maintaining adult relationships. What does it mean to have a healthy relationship? Say it, Kim. To be happy. To be happy. To be happy with yourself? Yeah. What about being happy with each other? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. So step one, there's mutual interest. Wow. Mutual interest. What does it mean to have mutual interest? The guy likes a girl, and the girl likes a guy. We expect for our students at Voice 2 to enter adult relationships as they transition. We desire for our students to find safe and healthy partners. Healthy relationships will be a topic that will gain more focus in our program because of the discussion which we began at Tools for Life. It is a perfect segue to a challenging conversation. The discussions at the conference open the floodgates for further investigation of post-secondary education. Tools for Life allowed Voice2 the opportunity to extend our learning by touring the University of Idaho's campus. We encourage all future attendees of Tools for Life to take advantage of a college campus visit, if at all possible. Our students gain realistic, age-appropriate college experiences by navigating a university campus, learning about the programs, seeing housing options, and obtaining information about how to apply. This was by far the most powerful tool that we have used in helping our students understand post-secondary education and what the whole experience is about. College visits will always be in our future at Tools for Life. I did not go to Tools for Life because I had medical stuff, stuff which kind of bummed me out because I was really looking forward to going and spending time with everybody. But at the same time, I had my own needs. But when my buddies came back, they appeared to be a little bit more independent, um, a little bit more interactive, a little bit more uh, willing to talk about it. And some of the stories, I have to say, were quite funny. How was Tools for Life, Nathan? It was good. It was good? What did you learn? You learned about the classes. What did you learn? What was your favorite class? Um, let me see. Um, Mechanic one. 
The which one? Electronics. Electronics one? Yeah. So can I ask you some questions about uh, Tools for Life? Yeah. So, what kind of things did you do that helped you become more independent? Um, I went to the breakout sessions on my own. I got around the hotel room on my own. And I didn't worry about nothing. What are some things you felt you learned this year at Tools for Life? There were a lot of opportunities for me in the aspect of college where I could get some scholarships and things and one of the sessions in particular helped me understand that there's more opportunities from me for me than I thought there were. What was your favorite breakout session at Tools for Life? At Reality Town. Oh, you liked Reality Town? Yeah. What did Reality Town teach you? It, they taught me how to how to pay insurance. I learned the skills needed to be independently. What was your favorite thing that we did at Tools for Life? I I liked staying in the hotel room by myself. I liked making my own daily schedule without my parents helping. What are some things that you learned at Tools for Life? What did you do? I learned for Tools for Life software as a bit independent. You learned to be more independent? How are you more independent? I stay in the hotel and... Uh, you stayed in the hotel? Yes. You did? Okay. Did you stay with your mom and dad? No. Who'd you stay with? I stayed with Dakota and Thomas. Oh, with yes. your friends? So that helped you make, feel more independent? Oh, yeah. What? was your favorite part of the whole Tools for Life experience? Well, the whole conference was good, but I think my favorite part was touring U of I, which was pretty nice. It's a pretty cool campus. It would have been cool if everyone could have saw it. What things did Tools for Life help you with your goal of living on your own? Um, how are you finding that? I finding um oh, yeah. finding a job and finding house and finding my own house and um 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 how are you paying your rent every month? Oh okay, that sounds like some reality town. That was a good one. Yeah. How can you take what you learned at the Tools for Life conference and apply it into your future? Uh, the Breakout sessions and all were really helpful all on their own, but one of the things that I think really helped me was that I learned to be a little more independent, and I learned that I can do things myself that normally I would have someone else to help me with, like staying in my own room and being to the different breakout sessions on time and generally being independent. At the Tools for Life conference, normally here in Haley there's like one Dakota, but at Tools for Life there's a whole plethora of different people like me and different from me, and just a whole slew of unique people. What was your favorite part of Tools for Life? My favorite part of Tools for Life was some um, college girls. What was your favorite part of Tools for Life? Um, the dance. The dance, and did you meet someone? Yeah. <laughs> no matter what disability you have, and you can do it.
check us on Facebook.